So we have our character that we're gonna light over here, and we flattened everything because it's a character rig with a composite set to pass through. So we're gonna do all our lighting underneath right here. If you're not using a character rig and it's just traditional art, you don't need this composite. So let's do our highlights first because the shadow process is exactly the same. So the nodes we're gonna need are our highlight node right here, and then our apply peg transformation node. So what this node does is it makes a flat image copy of our character and we can use that for our lights. So this is how it works. We're gonna plug in our highlight underneath our composite, plug in our composite to where it says image, create a peg, plug it into the leftmost port, and then plug this in into our matte layer. So our whole character is lit, but we don't really want that. We just want one side to be lit. So let's go into our peg in our stage view and offset our character just a little bit. Move it to the side and down so we have a nice edge. Now let's go to our highlight, invert the mat, and I can I bumped up the intensity as well so you guys can see. So now when we go into our render view, we should have a nice edge of light passing down our character, right? That's super intense because I bumped it up to five, but you can see how effective it is. You can go in and adjust the settings on these highlights, but that's for another video. And another good thing about this method is because I plugged in my character to my apply peg transformation, if I had some animation on the timeline, my lights would move with my character so I don't have to redraw them each time. So the process for the shadows is pretty much the same. So instead of a highlight, we use a tone node and I plug it in underneath my highlight, that's important. I need another apply peg transformation so I can copy this one, paste it, plug in my composite and plug this into my tone. Now I don't want to copy my peg, I want to create a new peg with control P and plug that in. So now instead of offsetting it to the right, let's go to the left. There we go. Process is the same. We can invert our node. Let's bump up the intensity to let's four. If we hit our render view, we should have a shadow line on the other side of our character, just like that. Right, so that's it guys. In a very short amount of time, we have some nice lights for our character and it looks a lot better than just a flat image. So play around with the settings for your tone and your highlights because you can get some really, really cool effects that way. Let's